Horse racing kid signing on handicap racing from Shelton uh, from Shelton the UK racing on the handicap uh, all the races here on Tuesday on Wednesday excuse me here on the uh, March the 16th 2001 so let's get on to it seven races on their program uh, so let's get on to race number one the first race it is sorry uh, please go to horseracingkid.com too. Race number one is the National Hunt Chase Challenge Cup for amateurs. A four mile steeper ch chase for novice, five year olds, and upward. Class two here, it's the uh, field of. Uh, I'm going to go with the two here Alphabet, RP McMara is jockey. Last time out, the one in Ireland, three miles and a steeplechase handicap. Class one came first. Then the handicap in Ireland, two miles and a quarter. Uh, first, one uh, two miles and three quarters amateur heard Ireland. And then the first and three miles and eighth in the steeplechase. Gonna go with this one. So recap my bets race number one from Shelton going two. Now I'm gonna go over to race number two from Shelton. Second race, it is the Neptune Invest Management Novice Hurdle, Grade One, hundred fifty-six thousand dollar purse uh, for Novice Furls, going two miles and five eighths hurdle. I'm gonna go with the three horse this race. Number three, first Ludinant, last time out Danny Russell, last time out around Leopardstown, two miles and a hurdle, and the future champions Novice Hurdle came first. Then the Novice Hurdle, two miles and a half in Ireland, of third one of race at Punchestown, two and a half main hurdle, and a fourth and main hurdle at two miles. I like this horse here, very interesting horse, six to one my uh, odds. So recap my bets race from two from Shelton, going with the three. So let's so let's go on to race three from Shelton. Very race from Shelton is a steeplechase stakes. It is uh it is the RSA Chase Grade One, first two hundred three thousand dollars. Uh, it is going three miles in the sixteenth. We have uh, and I'm going to go with the six ten here. Number six, Master of the Hall. Very interesting horse here. Last time out, the one at Ascot, uh, England, three miles in the uh, Reynolds Town Novice Chase came first. Then Novice Chase at three miles in the steep Chase at first. Fifth and take me travel dippers novice. And then one beginners chase at Escott, two miles and eleven sixteenth. Then two miles and nine sixteenth said novice hurdle uh, third. I like this horse here. I think this horse fifteen to one. The class might be a big question mark here. And I'm gonna go actually with the ten horse here. Number ten, time for Rupert. Two to one last time out to Shelton, three miles and sixteenth at Novice Chase came first. The Novice Chase at Shelton back in November, two miles and nine sixteenths at first. At Shelton, three miles and a world hurdle a second. Second to Shelton World Cleveland. Won the last year's world hur hurdle, three miles on the hurdle race. I think this horse has it here. Uh, in my exact this will recap my best race in the third from Shelton going six ten. Let's go on to race four. Race four is grade one champion chase. First forty four thousand four hundred ninety nine thousand uh, dollars. It is the Queen of Mother Champion Stakes, Grade One, two mile steeplechase. And I'm gonna go with two horses here, number four and number five. Number four, French Opera. Again, he's a big question mark with the uh, pedigree here, with the uh, with the not the pedigree, but the like um, class of this horse. Last time out, the one Newberry, two miles and eighth in the steeplechase in Tort Gome. Tart game spirit chase came first, then ninth and handicap chase at San at San, at South San uh, two miles, then at War two miles and a half in the Scottish Sun future stake came first, second at Shelton two miles and sixteenth in a race here at last year's uh, champion meet, Shelton two miles sixteenth handicap first and then one at Shelton race. Going with this one, and I'm gonna go with the five horse here, gold silver. Last time out there, Nana Ireland, in two miles in the Paddy Prower Stakes, came first. Then up at Punchestown, two miles steeplechase at first. One uh, 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 two miles in eighth race in the Tote Six and Six Normans Grove Stakes. That's second in Leopardstown, two miles in eighth. Like this horse here. So I recap my bets race from four from Shelton going four or five. Let's go on to race number five. It's a, it is the Coral Cup here, race five, going two miles and five eighths hurdle. 
Uh, and I'm gonna go with the 418 here. Another weird race. Number four, Agenten Dawn. 28 runners in this race. Uh, let's time out during the Ascot. Uh, two miles in, in a handicap hurdle came first. They won a conditional handicap hurdle at Shelton. Two miles in five eighths. Two miles in three sixteenths and an Aiden hurdle a fourth, a first, and then one of uh, a Kenton two miles national hunt race. I like this horse here, four and four in lifetime has has a nice chance here. I don't go with the eighteen horse, thirty to one bomb. Arazi, an Irish bred horse, last time out from at in in England two miles and then June all Novi's hurt all first. Nineteen lengths he won that day. Then two miles and five sixteenth and juvenile Novi stakes at first. One of juvenile Novi's hurdle at Newbury and then the only two starts. And then ran two races in France, both at a mile and a quarter. Came second. Like this horse here, fifteen and three, thirty to one. So recap my bets race from five from Shelton going for eight. So now we're gonna go on to race number six. Sixth race is the Fred Winter Juvenile Handicap Hurdle, grade three. Going two miles and a sixteenth. We have a field, and I'm gonna go with the eleven here. Uh, number eleven, beyond. Dave, Danny Russell's jockey. Last time out to run at uh, two miles and eighth in juvenile hurdle race. Came fourth at Nab two miles and eighth in juvenile hurdle second. Then a first in, in a juvenile hurdle at uh, two miles sixteenth. Two miles and eighth in a hurdle juvenile hurdle first, and then a first in a link field two mile, mile and a half handicap. Going from McCoy last time on. Now Russell's up. I think this horse has a nice chance. So recap my bets race number six from Shelton going with the eleven. Let's go into the final the night cap for the race from Shelton. The seventh race is a Weatherby Champion Bumper Stakes, Grade One. It's a two miles and a sixteenth national flat race. Field. Uh, now I'm going to go with the nine horse here in Ricked. Last time out to run Newberry, two miles sixteenth in Tote Bowls. Tote Bowl Winter Bumper Stakes came first. Then at uh, mile three quarters in the National Hunt Race at first, and then second at Ascot, two miles in the National Hunt Race. Like the horse here, six to one. So we count my bets race from seven from Shelton going with the nine. Uh, so it's the horse racing kids sign off for number. Good luck to all.